I'm Mrs. Steiner, your PE teacher for today. Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hey, I'm just going to give you a couple reminders of our classroom um, procedure here. So we ask you guys to go ahead and sit on your numbers and hold your questions till the end. I'll be happy to address them later if you'll please uh, let me have a few minutes to explain everything and we can get to our fun right away, okay? So first thing we're going to do is everybody's on their numbers, go ahead and stand up for me. Excellent. We're going to get our muscles warmed up and ready to go, okay? Now we have a short, go ahead and we'll do our jumping jacks. We have a short class today because, uh, you know, it's an assembly day. So we have a shorter day. That's okay. We'll make the best of it. We'll still have some fun, okay? And we're going to do some jogging in place. Get those quad muscles ready to go. Excellent. Good job. All right. Let's do some ski jumps side to side. Good. Oh, here's a fun one. How about the Mario jump ladders? You guys remember those? Opposite arm, opposite leg, up high. High, high, high. Good job, guys. Great. Okay, let's put our arms out and do some circles. Okay, so today we're going to be working on our volleyball bump, and I'm going to explain that to you guys in just a few minutes. But I want to get those arms ready to go. Let's go across. Excellent job. Nice day today, isn't it? It's beautiful outside, guys. I love it. Okay, good job. Go ahead and have a seat, and we're going to explain to you the bump or the forearm pass, okay? So, everybody have a seat. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Okay, here we go. Now, oh yeah, I know you probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to show it to everybody, okay guys? Thank you. Okay, and let's put our arm out, one arm out, and we take the other arm. Good. Now we fold them in together, see my fingers, and then you bend your wrist. Good, okay? Now, if you look, look at my arms. Look at all that area. It's like a giant paddle. That's where we want to strike the volleyball because it's a nice smooth surface. Also, we point our thumb fingers, our thumbs, the way we want the ball to go. So if I go this way, or I go this way, or if I go straight up. Okay? Now, here's the rule. Never go over your head. We want to keep our arms below our shoulders. Because what do you think happens, boys and girls, when I do this? Very good. The ball goes over our head, right? We don't want it to go backwards. We want it to go up for our partners to hit the ball over the net, or up and over the net itself. Very good. Okay, now everybody try it again. Put our hand out, the other hand. Good. Now bend your wrist and bend your knees this time. We're going to use those quad muscles I was talking about. We can bend down, receive the ball, and bump it up. Let me show you. So basically it'll look like this. Good job. Okay. Everybody got it? Try it again. Good. Now let's see if you guys got it. What do I do first? Right. Put my arm out. Other arm. Good. What about my fingers? Good. Hold them over. We can. And how about my wrist? Oh, good job. Bend them back. Okay. And do I go like this? No. Right. Very good. You guys are listening. I love it. And up. Okay. Everybody got it now? Good job. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat and let me tell you about our uh, game that we have real quick. Okay? And please don't ask um, until the end if you have questions. And also don't ask to be a tagger because I've already picked them. Okay? Good. Thank you so much. Now, if you notice behind me, we have a big box set up with the domes. The first rule is you have to stay inside the box. Okay, what's the first rule? Yes, stay inside the box. Good, you guys are listening. I love it. Okay, now, our next one is the people with the small ball are the taggers. Now, the taggers will run and chase everybody, and we run, and we keep our heads up very good, and we look for others so we don't turn around and run into them, right? Always looking for others. The tagger will come and tag you, and they tag you nicely between the shoulder and the waist, never touching the head, right? And we don't throw the ball, and we don't push. We tag what? Nicely. Thank you. Can I touch the head? No. Okay? And I ask my taggers to please follow the rules, or else I'll have to take the ball away from you. Okay? But I know you guys can do it. All right? Good job. So what do the taggers do? Tag nicely. Good job. Okay. So they're going to tag anybody without a ball in their hand. Now, what happens when you get tagged? You raise your hand, and you call for the paramedic. Who's the paramedic? Paramedics are the ones that always come and help you if you're hurt or sick or anything like that. So that's what we're going to play this game. So the paramedics are going to be the one with the volleyball. Now, the volleyball, we're going to work on our bump, our pass, like we were talking about earlier, okay? So the paramedics going to run over to you, paramedic, paramedic. They run over and they go, I'll save you, okay? And then they come and they're going to toss you the ball and they're going to bump it to them, okay? And they're going to catch it or bump it back if they can. If you can bump it back and forth, that's the best. But 
for right now, just work on bumping it. Toss it gently to them, and then let them bump it up. Okay? So once they do that, you do it three times successfully, then you're free to go run again. Okay? And then after a couple minutes, I'll blow my whistle, and you guys will all come in, and we'll see, you know, what's going good. If you have any problems, you'll let me know at that time, and then I'll pick some new people to do the tagging and the paramedics. Okay? Everybody good? Okay, so Johnny, Luis, and Anna are going to be the tigers. I'm going to have Maria and Julie and Pierre are going to be the paramedics first, okay? All right, so everybody else go back in the box. Good, go run in the box. Make sure you're watching out for others, okay? No sitting. Got to stand up and keep moving, okay? Then I'm blow my whistle and then the tigers are going to come. Okay, good job, boys and girls. Let's go, let's have some fun. Okay, so at this point, I will let the kids uh, play the game for a couple minutes. And then I would blow the whistle, have them all come in, tell them what I saw was going well, maybe make some corrections, and then I would pick new taggers and uh, new paramedics, send them out, play another round. Now in a regular class, it would be 50 minutes usually. Uh, we would obviously get enough rounds in to get everybody either a tagger or a paramedic. Uh, but this is a shortened class, so they'd probably just get two rounds. Then I would call everybody back in, and we talk about what we did, review, you know, guys show me again how to do the proper bump, excellent job, make some compliments, uh, ask the children to um, compliment one of their fellow peers. Um, I saw um, Sammy pick up uh, Ramona who fell. I thought that was very nice. Um, so I like to always give encouragement and um, then tell them to have a really great day and send them on their way. So thank you for your time. I'm sorry I can not have kids today, but uh, hopefully this, you get the idea. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.